works. It's working. We're good. It is good. It is and good. It is working. It is working. You know mm. what else is working? What's that? It's us at 8.57 p.m. Well, p- 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 p.m. <laughs> no, Welcome to PM. Friday, everybody. Mm. It's Two's Company Three's a podcast. That's and we're right. here for our fresh new episode to please your ears on a Friday. That's right. All your viewing pleasure over at YouTube. But it's Absolutely. Casual Friday where we tackle the latest trailers that have come out and the films that are coming to theatres this weekend. Maybe we can help you plan your weekend. Absolutely. If you haven't mm. got anything planned just yet and you feel like going to the cinema, well, tune in because we're going to mm. talk about what's coming up this weekend and whether you feel that you should see any of these or not. That's right. And yeah. we usually decide whether we're going to go see something as well, but <laughs> we shall see. No, that's right. And that's what will happen once we get into Yarsal Pass. But thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. And we may as well just rip straight into it. Yeah. And I will open up my notes to get the name of the show and the little intro. Okay. While you do that, my name is Dylan, as always, with my co host, Mitchell. And Patrick said that. W- th- th- <laughs> <laughs> Patrick said this was the luckiest number ever. So it must be time for 2C3 Pod, the inspiration for Die Hard 2. Marriage is like a tense, unfunny version of Everybody Loves Raymond, only it doesn't last for 22 minutes. It lasts Last forever. Ah, oh, he's drinking a cup of tea or a coffee when he says that. Um, ah, oh, fuck, man. See, if we were tallying these, I'd be way off because well, I have seen this and like, I have seen it recently. Like I told you, I'm doing themes this week and this yeah. week's theme was Judd Apatow films. Yeah, yeah. So we did 40 Year Old Virgin. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. No, uh, you know, it's going to take me a couple of minutes. But I'm going to get we, We've this. got time. Yeah, we've got time. It's Friday, <laughs> yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, it got right. an all-star cast. Another marriage, person's marriage. big breakthrough role. It, uh, it's about an unfortunate uh, d- d- It's knocked up, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, it's, and it's Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd. Yes. Yeah, well and done. And then they have a spin-off, uh, This is 40. Yes. That, and well what's done. the lady's name who acts alongside him? Leslie, Leslie Mann. Mann. Yes, she's great. Yes. I love Leslie yeah, Mann. She's married yeah. to Judd Apatow. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. why she gets all these roles. Yeah. But And there's been many a joke about him enjoying... Oh, no. That was Kevin Smith. My apologies. Kevin Smith's, <laughs> Kevin Smith's wife, because he always casts her in roles where she's yeah. fucking other dudes and stuff. And Yeah. There's, there's got to be some kind of... Many a joke where it's like, yeah, you just love watching your lady get boned by other people. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, um, speaking mm. of ladies being boned by oh, other God. people, um, I like where this Woolworth's is headed. dry ginger ale. Yes. Get your shit together. Oh, terrible. <laughs> it's, t- it's terrible. Well, uh, Dylan, get yeah. your shit together and don't drink fucking ginger based soft drink products because they're terrible. Yeah, but there's scotch in here. You know, oh, it's scotch oh. It's scotch and dry. Yeah. Yeah. And you can pay like $1. fifty for a regular brand dr- like dry ginger ale and it's mint. It's yeah. delish. And then you go like the cheaper one is like 30 cents cheaper. Just yeah. be like, oh, I don't need the the expensive one. Yeah, you do. You do. It you sucks. Do. It's just, it, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Speaking uh, of scotch, have you finished off, the, polished off those bottles I gave you? Uh, getting very close. Nice. Yeah. nice I, d- I did get a nice bottle of um, wild turkey American honey for Christmas Ooh. off Taylor. So yes. I've been getting my way through that. Yeah. And that shit, I had two glasses of that last night, mm. but because of how sweet it is, yeah. like I put two away, yeah. like two decent glasses of scotch. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it wasn't the, it wasn't last night. It was the night, but it was Sunday night. Okay. No, Monday night. <laughs> It was so. This is how it's drunk casual, I. It's, ca- it's casual Friday. This is how drunk I got mm, because I mm. was attempting to watch a fall from grace. Oh, okay. but I remember at like it was like eleven thirty, uh, and I yeah. had to get to bed. But I was like, "Holy crap, I'm, I'm- drunk." <laughs> It was, you know, they like drinking those sort of things. Like with mm. scotch, you know, you know you're drinking it because mm. it's it can be quite uh, hard to drink. That's yeah. why it takes yeah. so long, and you enjoy it. You let it sit there and whatever mm. else, and you let mm. it sort of melt in your mouth. Yeah. But when it's American honey and it's straight, it's it's like drinking honey. You know? Oh, okay. And, it's, and it, you, you like just, thick and gluggy. No, no, it's like delicious, unthick and gluggy uh, yeah. honey, and you could just like, like you mm, could. Yeah, the squash is great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. You could you just drink it straight, and you drink so much of it in such a short amount of time, and then all of a sudden yeah. you're lying on the lounge watching a terrible movie, and you're like, oh, I got to stand up a minute. Oh. Well, it, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might not be terrible to some people, but if you'd like to hear our review of that film, head back to Wednesday's episode. Yeah. To uh, Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and of course, YouTube. YouTube big it's summer blitz. Yep. I'm yes. still committed to that, by the way. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, as yes. we were said, it's casual Friday, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the episode that we still put a ton of effort into with yes. my descriptions and finding out all the 
things that have come out and things of that nature and all the viewing that we have to do to be able to review these trailers and stuff. But if you want to hear some more serious news and oh, a review better. and pull, stuff, not, 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 not yeah, yet. Not we'll yet. hold off not on the yet. horn for a second. If you yeah. want to hear some more serious news and reviews and stuff like that, that's Wednesday's episode. So make yes. sure you like, subscribe on your favorite platform so you get up to date and automatic downloads. Absolutely. But mm. guess what time it is, Mitchell? Oh, I'm, I can't wait for my ears to hear this. <clears throat> It wasn't that loud. It was fine. <laughs> no, but it's loud in the ears. Oh, so, yes, it is. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's time to head on down to the trailer park. Better suit your ass. Let's do it, Mitchell. Oh, better suit my cousin wife. Can't wait to hear this. Absolutely. Anyway. If you didn't understand any of that, it's trailer park time where we review the freshest trailers for the week. Yes. Now, get it. now we've got a couple. <laughs> yep. We've got a couple, and they're both pretty fucking good. Yes. Really I'm fucking very good. very excited to talk about the but, two movie trailers we have for this week. Yes, week. we have two. So because of that, we mentioned last week or you mentioned last week that Doom Eternal yes. and Resident Evil 3 had new trailers dropped. So yes, I have same viewed day. them yep. and I am a, not a gamer if any regular listener would know, but I reviewed them and I will tell you my blind unauthorized <laughs> okay uh, yeah no, just, that's perfectly just, fine just description of them but while looking into trailers for this week episode mm. this, this week's trailer park you know mm. as we said like there's only two movie trailers we have on our list for this week yes um, but they are both great and we'll talk about why mm-hmm. I th- we think they are great in a moment yes. but there is one other that came uh, that the trailer was announced like I think it was a day ago or two it was like Thursday yep. Yep. where it's Mark Wahlberg mm. and he's in prison doing something rather and uh, Post Malone isn't it what? Uh, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. See, that's the thing. As long as he's cast as a stoner, gangster type person, yeah. he doesn't have to act. No, that's he right. He can just like, be he, himself. No, that's right. It's, he's got his face tattoos. He's got his hair the way it is, dirty and unkept. Like, he's no, literally in prison. He's a prisoner. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have to act. Honestly, he was probably on set. <laughs> he was probably just there. <laughs> he was probably in prison. So yeah. they're just like, hey, come and be in this scene. Yeah, I but, didn't write down the name of the movie because no, I don't fine. care- uh, but what I do care about, though, I'm glad you put in the list, is yes. The Lovebirds. Yes. Now, this one popped up right before Wednesday's episode. And honestly, I looked at this just based off the thumbnail and the name. Yeah. And I was like, ugh. It's another big sick. And then I saw who was in it. Yes. And then the trailer started. And let's just rip straight into my description. Yes, absolutely. A brand new romantic comedy starring 2 c 3 pod favorite, a pre-buff, Kumal Nanjiani and Issa Rose. Issa Rose, I'm not 100%. About a gorgeous young couple who are out for a romantic drive. Next minute, a guy hijacks their car and runs a dude over three fucking times. Yes. After he leaves them, they're pinned for the crime and are on the run for a crime they didn't commit. Which would you rather? Bacon grease to the face or what's behind the door? Coming April, May this year. What is this? One of those man operated doors? Or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So like I said, and even they played it up in the trailer. It's, I want to know. With love and it's yeah. just this romantic they're so smoochy and it says one moment defines each couple yes and then next minute they run somebody over first and then somebody jumps in police i need this vehicle he's a criminal they take their car and he runs the dude down yeah backs over him runs over him again and then leaves and he just like, gets out and walks. i don't think he was a cop yeah yeah and so, then all of a sudden you realize oh shit this is a fucking comedy like yeah. this is a de- i was That's not thing, expecting like, that come on Johnny. he's done a few of those sort of romantic comedies over yeah, the years and yeah, he's yeah. moving his way into yeah. big bigger blockbustery kind of yes. movies now he's Much more on the mainstream so. which is good yes. so. um but as you're right like the, mm. the the logo of the lovebirds and the trailer initially mm. has you under the understanding that it, this may be a another romantic comedy yeah but no it takes a deadpool tone no that's, that's what right. i get yes. from this is very that a gritty like is yeah. oh shit yeah, yeah like it's very uh not, i wouldn't say realistic but relatable in the way that they communicate with one another like they'd oh, be yeah. saying quippy one-liners or throughout yeah. the film well, sarcasm 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 yeah. is a very healthy ingredient in relationships and you know the, the, the mm. characters themselves like they're yeah. obviously in the struggling relationship yeah. and then they're on the run you know mm. they're on this like on the run from the coppers kind of film after a crime they didn't commit but yeah. they're, they're they're on this adventure this harold and kumar-esque adventure yes and i love this did idea. you say that because he's indian no, <laughs> but actually, I didn't. I didn't yeah, even think no, of that. Exactly. Are you but racist, you're, motherfucker. Yeah. But the fact that they're like they're two people, yeah. they're on the run, yeah. they end up in conundrums, yes. and they're hilarious in doing so. I can't wait for the Lovebirds. No, this film a, looks amazing. That's exactly right, and I just can't get over the fact of how um, even when it felt like it was going to be a romantic, just comedy esque film, yeah. I saw Kumar Nanjiani and was like, "All right, st- I'm still sold." You know, yeah. like I know the dude can act, and I have a feeling this guy was filming this during his uh getting buff stage he's, yes so he's mm. cutting towards the eternals yeah. because 
in previous films, he's got mm. a soft face. He's got soft features. Yeah, in you, this film, you can see he's, he's a bit more rugged. You know, exactly, you can tell yeah. he's obviously transitioning from and he's like a handsome as fuck, dude. Oh yeah, like seriously, yeah. we love this dude. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. times ten now because he's obviously like all ripped and fit and whatever <laughs> else. But you know, this film like it, it still yeah. plays on the strength that he's like this hilarious, goofy Indian character. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he was married or at least in, a, in some sort of relationship. I think they were just in a long term relationship. But, I feel like this movie's going to end with a proposal. I hope so. Yeah, I like, hope so. I, I feel like they're going to eventually because they they then think that they they can be play uh, they can play police detective. Yeah. and uh, try and solve them this themselves. So they break into somebody else's house, and he's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, another uh, movie that does that, which is equally as good, and yeah. I love it dearly. Mm-hmm. Game night. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Game night where it just seems like all fun and games, but turns into real crime and real detective. Yeah, work. yeah. No, exactly, and like. I was watching this and for anybody who's seen the trailer for or any international listeners because it's already come out there has seen Queen and Slim. Do you remember that trailer? Nope. That was the African-American couple who um, they get pulled over and wrongly accused of something because of their race and it's a very serious like um, civil rights type film oh, okay. and, they ac- yeah. and they accidentally shoot the cop and then they're on the run together. It's a very serious film about black rights and things like that. I got a, I got a vibe from this movie okay. about that. Like it's in in the complete opposite but similar way where yeah. it's a couple on the run for something they didn't do, you know? And they aren't yeah, and they, white folk. Exactly, yeah. But the film doesn't play on that at all. It's no, just the fact no, that they're no, both no, equally no, good course. actors and yeah. yeah. But uh, no, this looks like hella fun and after yeah. Stuber and hit seeing him and how he can carry that duo type comedy. Yep. I'm all about this, man. I'm yeah. all for this. This is a big summer blowout on all schemes. Yes. I can see this coming a great uh, speaking of I'm cutting tone right now man like I told you during the week I sent Event Cinema's Glendale shout out to you guys a direct you nearly me- said Greater Union a second ago oh, oh man just bring back the fucking song <laughs> simple as that but I, I sent Event Cinema's Glendale and their lovely social media staff a direct message about Colour Out of Space the yes. Nicolas Cage movie because we've been wrong in the past where yep. there'll be a movie like that concrete one by the director that you like with Vince Vaughn last year, like it was from the guy who did Cell Block not, uh, 99 or whatever oh, okay, it's called. Yep. Yeah, and that, and it said coming soon, but it didn't come to our local theaters. Yeah. Color Out of Space, the HP Lovecraft, beginning of the new trilogy starring Nicolas Cage. He's coming back to the big screen in Glendale. Yes, absolutely. I know. So and all you Snow Cage look out for that. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Get out there and support it because I don't think it'll be a long run especially in Glendale. It might be like a um, Three from Hell deal where it comes out for a night or a weekend. Yeah, okay. And I'm hoping uh, that movie gets... Uh, a bigger distribution than everybody expects. I hope Dude, that it's out for it, weeks and I well, hope that it does bring bank. Well, let's be honest. Like, as in, yes, Newcastle's market, it's not a big market. No, it doesn't right. get those types of films. So the fact that it's got distribution coming to Newcastle, that's a good sign that this trilogy and at least Color Out of Space is going to spawn something. And yeah. Yes. And I hopefully, maybe even my influence, because she said I've got a... Um, she had to message the um, uh, the planning team or whatever it is, or yeah, like okay. who who organizes what theaters and session yeah, times and that, stuff. Yeah. Maybe my influence had something to do it's with like, it. Oh, hey, the podcast this, guy wants this movie. This one dude Bam. wants to watch this exactly. Film. Yeah. yeah, I'll bring my buddy. <laughs> hey, they've put on shittier films for less. So that's absolutely correct, and wasted a hell of a lot of. T- I'm sure Doolittle's playing on 24 fucking screens. Tomorrow. Yeah, right. What's that going to make him? I mean, yeah, they might get families with kids, but they're not going to care about this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But either way, the Lovebirds. Yes, looks fantastic. Head on out, watch the. Tra- let us know what you think of it because to me this is a big summer blowout completely sold absolutely but mm-hmm. next on the list as well is oh. also I can say from the bottom of my heart already without reviewing it that this is a big summer blowout as well yes personally and maybe not financially don't know how it's going to do distribution wise worldwide but yep personally yes this is the kind of movie I that you sold. appreciate that some mm. films some film companies and writers take themselves way too seriously and yes. then they bomb and then movies like this are mm. allowed to be made on a good budget and they look fantastic. And you wonder yes. how these movies are allowed to be made. Yes. Um, and you're so glad that they are. This next one is a movie that we talked about many moons ago. Yes. Uh, it, it, after it, it, one image was released on the internet. One with... one image. And then I think a week or two later, it debuted at the Toronto International Film Festival, yep. which was October-ish, September-ish. So we mentioned this a long time ago. And there is a YouTube clip on yes. the YouTube page of us talking about just the picture. Yeah. I mean, come on. We are... 
we're, we're people. Absolutely. We, we do this well. <laughs> so the image yes. we saw was Daniel Radcliffe wearing slippers and a dressing gown with guns attached to his hands. This and he's film- hilariously at, at the cops going, Ugh. Yeah. Oh. This film is called Guns yeah. Akimbo. Mm. Daniel Radcliffe and the uber-talented Samara Weaving, of course, mm. star in this gritty action crime comedy about a young man who, waken, who awakens and finds he has guns surgically put on his hands. Confused, obviously, he soon realizes he's now part of a very real game of cat and mouse in a gladiator-style game called Schism, where people fight to the death. What a pickle! Coming late <laughs> February, early March. Yes. Yes. Now, Guns, Guns Akimbo. Akimbo. Please, I recommend, watch the trailer Please now. Please event cinemas, Glendale. Yes! Please, I yes. beg you. I yes. beg you. The release date for America is like the 28th of February or something like that. And then there's a couple other international markets early early March. Yeah. So this is not far away. So I will be sending a vet to Ms. Gladell yeah. another message and saying, Oi, is it coming, bro? Yeah. Because this looks like hella fun. Yes, I expected mm. this when we first saw uh, the images for it mm. and the mm. idea. I didn't yeah. expect this to have such a big, bombastic action. Yeah. I mean, I knew, I knew it was no. going to be action, no, but, but I didn't not know to it was going to be... Extent. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know it was going to be on this Al- level. Almost like a Mad Max vibe. Yeah, like, like the uh, car chases it, and the it guns. Gives, and the it gives me vibes outlandish of outlandish cl- costumes. It gives me vibes mm. of Mad Max, uh, Hardcore Henry, Crank, and Scott Pilgrim. And Scott Pilgrim, yes, because the beginning of that trailer, yeah, the, the animations around him and all that reacting to what he's doing on his phone and things yeah, of that because nature. Because the schism like- thi- uh, and Death Race, yes, and Death yes, Race, yes, absolutely. Very much so, so yeah. if you like those kind of films that we just mentioned, Guns yeah. Akimbo is going to be definitely for you. And yeah. Samara Weaving, who we fell in love with after Ready oh. or Not. Um, she's also Talented. going to be starring in Bill and Ted 3. Oh, I yes. Don't know what I'm she's sold doing on that now. Yeah, I right? wasn't sold on that, honestly. Well, you are now, because yeah. Samara Weaving is amazing. Yeah, she really um, is. Hugo, so, be proud. And she plays, mm. like, the one of the villains, or at least... Oh, that's cool. In Guns oh, Akimbo. Oh, Guns Akimbo. Yeah, oh, not, yes, a, not yeah. in Bill and Ted. I know, I was like, wow, yeah. look at her no, go. In Guns yeah. Akimbo, Samara Weaving's character well, plays, like, a crazy psycho bitch who's chasing him. Well, However, I have a feeling that halfway through the film, they're going to start working together against Schism. No, 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 well, Schism. that's referenced in the trailer. Yeah. Because she, she, from what we gather from the trailer, Schism is basically, like... He's a gladiator, and then they bring in a random new person, and it's just like fight to the death. And she's like the reigning champion and has yeah. been for multiple rounds or however long. And then he gets into it, and he's like, no, 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 we can work together and bring this all to get down, you know? like is Yeah. It, yeah, don't, yeah. So that, 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 that that's exactly what it seems like. And but my, it also plays out, imagine, like, imagine you had guns to your hands where you could only pull a trigger. This guy struggles to turn on cars, open doors, pull his no, pants up. No, that's right, him trying to open the door, and he uses his mouth, and oh. Yeah, oh, and he goes to turn the key of a car, oh, and goes, oh, yeah, of course. Like, like, I, I need I my hands. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, and Reese Darby, like I mentioned, yes. remember the Kiwi guy with the glasses? He plays like a hobo that it seems yeah. like he runs into maybe once. That's hilarious. Yeah, those it's, scenes. it's, it's yeah. great because you see, like you just when said, shit goes down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, I love how, like you just said, he can't do just regular things. So he's like scratching his head or near his mouth or something with the gun. With the gun. Because yeah. that's a part of his hand now. And he's like, oh, don't do that. Then you'll get a fucked up face and you'll be even fucking sadder with <laughs> yeah. your fucked up face. And it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. yes, I am all sold on this. Now, if you're wondering, where the logic behind this mm. film comes from you know mm. when you when you first look at it, you go he's got pistols on his hands how does he reload once he's out he's done That's, but yeah there I is a little there is a scene where it does like it's only goes by a, uh, with a flash yeah but you do see that there's a, mm. a round counter on it and it says 50 so it must oh, have okay. 50 so rounds like on each hand electronic hands. Well, it must run down his hand i think that's oh, where the okay so it might be, be. so there implanted in his is arm. Yeah. a level of realism in that case he can't be like well i'm I'm out of bullets. Yeah, I've got six in each. Yeah. Fuck. You know, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this film well, is going to go. Maybe, maybe off. they wanted to go like the cliche action route and have him like, you know, drop the clips and then slow mo bang it on the table on his pre set up loads. And, and I'd bah, be totally bah, bah. cool for a scene like that. But the fact that this guy is such an everyday <laughs> oh, loser. Yeah, he is. Is yeah. what makes it so fun. And Daniel Radcliffe is perfect. Yes. Because he's done things like Swiss Army Man. He's mm. done, obviously, the fame of Harry Potter. He's gone on to do some crazily obscure films. Yeah. And I think he's perfect yes. for and this he, role. Yes, and he looks fantastic. And he, yeah. looks, he looks gritty and dirty. And it's just not like the regular clean-cut British guy we're used yeah. to because he's lo- he doesn't have that accent. No, he doesn't. He's, he's just a dude now. He's just it's a regular great. dude. Yeah. And there is a Doom poster in the background. Of oh, the of course so there I was like, is. oh, there oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easter eggs. Yeah. 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 Uh, no. But yeah, but- so I cannot wait for Guns of Kimbo. Yes, and big summer how I, how I saw it mm. is that the Doom, Doom Annihilation director, Tony Giglio on Twitter, yeah. posted the trailer was like, look at this. Oh. And then I, I, not to me, he just yeah, posted no, it. No. 
then I saw it. Didn't imply that. Yeah. And I then I saw it. I, was like, I know you're listening, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> then I saw the trailer. And I was like, this looks bonkers. Exactly. I can't wait and for this. I just yeah. love the fact that, like I said to you before we started recording, and this is a little bit of a cheesy moment, but we've been doing this long enough now that these things that we talk about getting into production even yeah. are coming around now and we get to see the full yes. circle, you yeah. know? We like the news on the Wednesdays and things like that and we'll mention something. We'll say this is coming. And then completely forget about it because we're always researching new topics and then all of a sudden we're like, oh my God, we spoke about this six months ago. Yeah, like this is, a little. This Hopefully this will be the last time. This, <laughs> is, this has got a point, you know? Yeah. Like as in as silly as that sounds, but like it's nice to be... Uh, rewarded in that sense you know well, let's have a look mm. director and writer jason mm. lee howden yeah don't know who you are but looks like you're about to do a fantastic job at a fantastic movie so yes. let's have a look to see what you've done just to show some recognition very much excited. uh oh he's worked visual effects uh for the yeah. war of the planet huh? of the oh, apes so that's and why Avengers it has that that's more, more than likely why it has that really well directed visual feel absolutely yeah. Yeah. so this guy knows what he's doing so Ooh, visual yeah. artist for man of steel the wolverine mm, great gatsby like so the director what the do we hobbits say? dude both yeah. of the hobbits jason Ooh. lee howden he's the director of this film and yeah. he's worked on a lot of things he knows what he's doing yeah so. wrote wrote and directed this film so yes. we're very excited to see your film and it looks bonkers good absolutely now right. as we discussed yes I went and watched two trailers for games. Yes, Now, you this is very unusual for us for a trailer park. We haven't done this before. And I am not a gamer. So, I will just rip in straight away. I haven't written any thoughts. So I'm just going to okay. tell you what I thought. Yep. Resident Evil 3. Yes. Okay. So, there's some chick. Yes. And there's Carlos. Yes. And she's on the run from something. And yep. Carlos is like, I'm going to save you. Yes. I imagine he's like Mexican or something. Yeah. And um, so, she's on the run from this dude with like, he, he, his teeth are out. Yes. Like his teeth are showing quite a lot, like ripped open. There's no lips or anything. I don't yep. know how he makes an mmm sound. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's on the run and he's got a big flamethrower arm. He does. Yeah, and she's like climbing up a ladder and stuff. I feel like she stole his umbrella. Yes. Yeah, and I feel like Carlos is in on the whole thing yes. and probably the mastermind, but she didn't know. It's like she's been assigned to steal these umbrellas by a secret person. It's, and then he reveals himself as... I'm um, Carlos. I'm um, here to steal your. Or it's your help you steal the umbrellas because you're fucked up. It's your typical schoolyard bullying. They stole the umbrella yeah. off this fucking poor kid, and yeah. all he's doing is trying this to get it back. This poor kid with the hair lip. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. So that's what I gather, and I, 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 I don't know. I feel like she might be brave, but also a bit of a puss. <laughs> yeah, there's this, that moment where she's like, "He's after me. I'm going." To, uh, she can be Italian. She's yeah. da- he's after me. <laughs> yeah. I'll go throw the spaghetti. You run while I do that, and. Then Carlos is like, you fucking need you. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I gathered, man. Okay. She's on the run from somebody because she stole an umbrella and Carlos is going to help her because he actually planned it and blames her. Yeah. That's, that's Resident Evil 3 for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. So what did you think, dude? Because you've been geared yes. up for this. We've broken the news in our Wednesday episodes for a while about it. Yeah. Rumor and stuff. And now it's coming. So Got the trailer and was it April? April 20. Yep. No. 20, 3rd of April. 3rd. Yeah, I, 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 April, I believe 20, I, I believe I saw the, third of April. Or was it the twentieth? I'll, I'll do that. You get into what you think, Ben. I'll do that. You're oh, right. I feel like I was like, oh, well, I just knew it. I just looked at it, and then all of a sudden, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyway, this is the remake, mm. the official remake of the 1999 Resident Evil Three, and that big mm-hmm. fucker with the teeth out who chases you. His name is Nemesis. Nemesis, and, and he's okay. one of the most popular. He's the guy who owns the umbrellas. Yes, yep. he's the one of the most popular. Uh, video game and f- video game adaptation in film like enemies okay like monsters on the planet I'm just, and we, sorry we've been in this room for two and a half hours I realized I plugged the mouse in at the start and haven't touched it once good one yep Should've moving your umbrella yep sorry um, and they, by the way they missed an opportunity it is yeah. the 3rd of April so they don't have 420 yeah right yeah. nah silly yeah. oh so, wait no that's 24 ugh. anyway 3rd yeah. of April which is yes. great you know so April. after the success I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil as as mm. it is, the whole mm-hmm. franchise, I love it. I've been playing yep. through them ever since. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the after the success of the Resident Evil One remaster, which was basically the exact same game but just with a bit more modern graphics, came out two thousand twelve, I think it was. Yep. Which is all tank controls, like 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 the, say for example, you walk into a room and the camera is in the corner of the room, yeah. And you control the person walking through. It's very fascinating okay. and it's very good. Yeah. It, even the original PlayStation One version. Yeah. It holds up today, man. It's so, really good. So third person. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah okay. the whole franchise is third person, except oh. for Resident Evil 7, oh. which is like the only one uh, apart from one spin-off. Person. But yeah. Yeah, okay. But so after- I might enjoy this being a Fortnite player. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, 
we've talked about this in the past <laughs> where we wanted to do like a horror series where yes. you play through certain games. Of course. The first one I wanted you to try was Resident Evil 2 Remake. Okay. Because yep. that's one of the most recent, one of the best, and one of the most terrifying horror games ever. And now that we are finally moving to a permanent studio yes. with ducted aircon, <laughs> we might be able to set that up. So, yes, yeah. absolutely. But I'm- again... We need support for this show. So, <laughs> I mean, there's tpublic.com. Search Two's Company Threads Podcast and get yep. yourself a bit of merch. Or Two's Company Threads Podcast at gmail.com if you want to head, head over to PayPal. If you want to head 10, over. 10, 15, 20 cents. You know, yeah. a- anything like that. You can become a producer and we'll name you if you want. Otherwise, yep. be anonymous. But yeah, no, that's just to support the show. If you like us, I mean, I don't know why you would, but thank you. Let us know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we can start doing these future ventures that we want to get into. But yeah. yes. But the so, thing that fascinates mm, me about this and what shows how great these games were back in the day Mm -hmm. is that in Resident Evil 2 you were constantly chased by an enemy called uh, the Tyrant which is a tall muscular pale skinned beast essentially looked Mm. like a human with a big trench coat yep Mm -hmm. absolutely yep and in the latest one, I'm not sure if this was so evident in the original but in the Mm. latest one he was programmed to just be in the building oh and no oh. matter, like, if you're, oh. say, for example, he's a level above you and mm. you're below him, if you run, mm. he'll hear you mm. and he will hunt you. Mm. And, yeah, so it's consistently oh, terrifying like because you, it's so unsettling and it's, you're unsure where he is until yeah. you, you turn the sound down and you can hear his footsteps. Oh. The nemesis, yeah. so, th- so that Resident Evil 2 is set within a police station and then, yep. it, then it moves on to the outside. Mm. But this is set in Raccoon City. And the Nemesis program is built off an enhanced version from the previous Tyrant. Yeah. So throughout the game, apparently this Nemesis, just like in Resident Evil 3, mm. will not stop hunting oh. you. And you won't know oh. when he's about to show up. And that is terrifying. Yeah. And that's what makes this so fucking amazing. And wow. I cannot wait for Resident Evil 3. All over the umbrellas. <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's just yeah. insane. But yeah. either and he way... he chases you with a fucking rocket launcher, the, well, the flamethrower. He usually say, has a minigun as well. Jesus Christ. And you're the main character, Jill Valentine. You're part of the stars oh, group. Jill. Jill okay. Valentine. Yeah. So very Italian name. Very Italian name, yes. Are you sure, sure it's not Jill Valentino? Yeah, oh, it may be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I spilled my spaghetti. Valentino. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. But either way, the trailer looks hella fun. I can understand why you're so geared jazzed? up about it. Yes. Yeah, jazzed. Yes, <laughs> yes, I cannot fucking but wait. But speaking of jazzed, let's yes. get on to the next one that you were incredibly jazzed about, the yes. highly de- delayed. Um, uh, well, for all good reason, yeah. but I'll let you give your little description right. first before we reveal so, it. So, Doom Eternal. Yes. Now, again, I have no notes here. I'm just going off memory. Off the now, cuff. Uh, yeah. So, this one... Okay, so it was, it was 2051, I believe. something. 2151. Like 2151. That was close. Six years yeah. after the events of Doom 3. Oh! But not in canon. Yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah. But either way, uh, from what I gather, there's like some space station or something. Yes. And you travel there and you've got like sick guns and they're fighting some kind of like... There's a huge demon beast looking thing right and he like pops out of the ground but there's like he's got henchmen there's like a ton of little tiny henchmen and stuff but then there's like this lady who's like they fear nothing but they fear you and you're like <laughs> the you know, maker, and, yes. and, and you're like the only um you know person that these things are scared of and then like you do some sick flips and stuff <laughs> and you got a shotgun yes but i mean then there's like a shield and it like sent and like you send out like six like six like little grenade bullet things yes and it blows up multiple people and you look really cool and stuff and then you, like i said you do some more sick flips and yes. stuff it's all and, about sick and flips, you're man. on i'm just gonna say i don't think it's a planet it looks like a space station because it's too well structured yes so i think it's a space station and all these things for some reason you you're going to this place where these people want to only kill you why didn't you just like you know not go there so you go there and like you fight them and they're trying to kill you and you pump a few in the face, like one shots yeah. and stuff. And then See, there was some kind of like half deformed robot broken up thing hanging in like a, like a Captain uh, Samuel, I, Samuel Hayden. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. It just looked like a broken robot. Maybe. Yes, that's exactly like, what it is. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I feel like there was some kind of yellow lady or creature or something as well. Like not just the demon dude. Mm-hmm. There was also like, um, uh, uh, what are like you, human? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It just looked yellow. Okay, there was like so, a yellow person. So as like you said, Lala like he goes to a place where everybody's trying to kill you. So yeah. why would you go there? Yeah. The whole thing is you're going there to kill them. Yeah. No, I, I get that, but I mean, there's more of them than you. Yeah, so, but that's I the mean, thing. Why would you? There want may to be die? more. 
but that's the whole point. Oh. They still don't stand a chance because oh. that's how because powerful you you're are. You're the only one they fear. Exactly. So in Doom <laughs> okay, from 2016, so, yeah. you so, awaken from a sarcophagus. Just, just sorry, just to once again yes. clarify, I am not a gamer. Yeah. So I look at these completely. Plays with, Fortnite. Ex- that's all I do. Enough said. I play Fortnite and I see my son playing Minecraft. Sometimes I jump on with him yeah. if he wants me to build with him. But even then, I'm spastic, mm-hmm. and the graphics are shit. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you yeah. oh yes you got of that? course yay yes. I earned it um, yeah okay so I'm not a gamer at all so I'm just t- literally talking out my ass this is what I see yep and I tell you and you tell me why I'm wrong <laughs> you're essentially <laughs> right in a lot of ways is the yay! fact that, you know you do, like you are on a space station that, that, big yeah. demon dude Yes, yep. yes. Yep. Lots of big demon dudes yep. because you are fighting the literal forces of hell. Oh. Um, and the big white yellow thing is yeah. known as the Khan Maker, which wasn't in the previous ones. This okay. is the new character. Apparently, word is that they're from the heavens. Oh. So, because you've only ever seen the world of hell oh. in the Doom franchise, oh. this new one, they're expanding into new sort of realms yes. and going, well, if there's a hell, there's a heaven. Okay. You know, so the, the Doom not? Slayer, known mm. as you, you're going to kill fucking everybody who, who's out to destroy humanity. So, I feel like if I've completed this game i'm going to be converted and then get baptized does the baptism come with the game well that's what they say a lot of people say well how is this this game is isn't isn't religious and it's 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 mm. promoting satanic imagery it's like no you're literally it it is the ultimate doom <laughs> is the ultimate christian game oh my because god. all you do is, is slay kill demons, demons. Oh my yeah god. so that's it so uh, um this new trailer yeah. reveals a hell of a lot more about where you're going that there's a bit more characters yeah. involved there's more mm. over like wordplay which is good so there's going to be more story but it's okay. also action-packed so yeah. just like doom 2016 if you don't want to know the story mm-hmm. and you just want to run and gun you can yeah you okay. don't have to right. know anything yeah so it's not like you're going to be stuck every five minutes in the game getting a new story update that's right yeah there's in 2016 there are i'm sure there's a skip option yeah in Mm. doom 2016 there are codexes which you can pick these things up and you can go to the menu and you can read about it all Mm. so if you want to you can but if you don't want to just ignore it so that's it like fair fair enough like you know you go from one place to another to another yeah a bit of something for everyone yeah yeah but a typical first person shooter campaign mm. uh, usually goes for about 10 or so hours yeah sometimes okay. longer if you're lucky if it's an open mm. world thing you know yeah. like far cry or skyrim and okay. those kind of things yep. that go for a lot longer mm. um this for a relatively linear first person shooter mm. uh is set to go doom eternal is to be over 20 to 30 fucking hours of just non-stop fucking go Jesus up and go Christ. uh yeah so i cannot wait yeah no yeah. of course uh, everything uh, from the doom 2016 looks yeah. like it's been tripled and quadrupled in its quality and that, when you when you sh- like fire into a demon they yeah. don't just go blah and a bit of blood they rip apart and on the inside they they light up on fire like and oh, like god like, like oh i cannot fucking wait yeah there was this one sick bit after you've done an awesome flippy dip yep. and you land like almost on top of one of them and you like shotgun him in the face or something and you yeah. just see like his half his face and his arm ripped off and stuff yeah and so that big like, hulking damn. thing with the two the big gut and the big two rocket hands yeah, that's yeah. called the mancubus ah, from the originals big okay. ugly fucking things yeah. but like he re- he goes down and he punches yeah. it in the face oh punches it was it and at oh, the end like at the very end where he slices that monster into three he oh, cuts yeah. his legs and his guts then his head yeah that's the cyber demon that I've got tattooed oh so it's revealing that you beat the main boss uh, well, that's the thing. Like, oh, he won't be the spoiler by the looks of it. Yeah. He, like the big baddie. Yeah. He's going to be a fairly regular enemy, and I like that idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wait. Is there so? Is there only one of him? No, there's going to be several. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's right. like in the original games. Fair enough. The Cyber Demon may have been mm. one of the big baddies, yeah. but then you'll find a level which one of the creators put in like four. Oh. And you're like, uh, 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 I've got a pistol. Um, yeah, shit. <laughs> you know, so that's yeah. that's what Doom's about. It's just so, about just going in, ripping in, having yeah. fun. If you want to pick up on the story, there's heaps of lore, yeah. but if you don't want to, you don't have to. I will say my only critique, like from a gaming perspective, is the fact that I'm not sure that you can emote in this game. Uh, you don't have to. Oh, but you can? Uh, actually, <laughs> it's funny you say that because oh, gosh. in Doom 2016... They They've added the fucking floss, haven't they? Oh, so <laughs> this is one of the things I cringed about the 2016 yeah. Doom is that in the multiplayer, which they're not bringing back for this new one, it's mm. like a deathmatch multiplayer, yeah. is that you can get emotes. Oh my God. And some of them are hilarious. And I'm yeah. flipping through them going like, these are funny, but this doesn't work in a Doom game. Yeah. Like, this doesn't fit. Like, old mate, the Doom Slayer, like, your badass character is fucking oh doing, my God, you know, really? like, and he's dabbing, and I'm just like, oh, listen, I get it. Yeah. It's modern. Yeah. It's funny. But they've left that behind. 
Is yeah. that what you said? They're, well, in replace of what they call battle mode, which is a multiplayer. It's a battle royale. No, they've oh. talked about it. They're not doing battle royale. They said they play them in the office. Okay. But they play else- them in the office? Yeah, yeah. The creator of Doom. Wait, so they'd like make their own battle royale that they just play privately? No, 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 no. Oh. So one of the creators of the modern Dooms, Marty Stratton, no, not Marty Stratton, sorry, Hugo Martin, who did a lot of the design for the Jaegers from Pacific Rim and he yeah. used to work for Naughty Dog, now works for id Software. He mm-hmm. says, yeah, like I'm really good at Doom and I slay it, but I play Fortnite with my son and I suck. <laughs> but those games are great. They yeah. recognize yeah. good game design oh, that's and they cool. see it. Oh, okay. So they play Fortnite. Yeah. yeah, and oh, so they know how to game. They just still, <laughs> they're just bringing out this demon shit for religious purposes. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah that's no, right. No, yeah. I'm fully to on repent board. against so, their sins. So now that you've been waiting for it and you are the Doom fan, yes. this is a big summer blowout for you. It's you're, you're, you're fucking just, Yeah, you're Listen, so 2020 is looking to be a <laughs> magnificent year. I've seen two movies that have been great so far. Yes. Um, I'm moving house very shortly and I cannot fucking wait. That's going to be a massive weight off my shoulders. Yes. I'm also getting married this year. Yes. Doom Eternal, Resident Evil 3. Man, like what's the rest of the year going to fucking bring? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Big time. Like this year is going to be a great year and I've got some good feelings about the podcast. Make sure we get, make sure we cut this clip right now when we get picked up to like podcast one and we're making money for this (laughs) and it's a career. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I've totally predicted it. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually podcast one, I don't know what the fuck happened with them. We, Email and then yeah, rude. But anyway, either yeah. way, moving yes. on. So that's the trailer park for the week. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yes. Next up, mm. it's time. <laughs> yeah, you Sorry. hate you hate me pressing this button. Uh, I do. It's, it's time, time for yours or pass. Excited or but We really need to re-record that. Yeah, it is so fucking depressing. Yeah. Anyway, but to bring way, back the mood, it's mm, yards or pass. January. Yes. Honestly, as depressing as it is, it's yes. one of my favourite segments of the week because yes. we get to know what's coming into our local theatres. Absolutely. And, oh boy, am I! I'm somewhat excited for this week. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's, it's pretty decent. But I, I haven't s- looked at the list yet. No, no, no. I'm course. going in completely blind. Yes, I love it. And I was hoping I saw a mm. trailer. No, I, it wasn't a trailer. Sorry. Yep. I saw a trailer for one of the movies years ago, which I literally just glanced at. Not years ago, sorry, months ago. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, yeah. you're a genius. Um, yeah. <laughs> Looking to the future. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then yeah. Event Cinema's Glendale uh, earlier today, uh, two days ago, sorry, yeah. from recording, oh. uh, from releasing, yeah. uh, said, oh, coming to cinemas. I was like, okay, great. I didn't expect this to come to local cinemas. Yes. And it came, there was a trailer for it, like you said, a couple yeah. of weeks ago, but I saw it in Glendale and I was like, what? Yeah. What, really? So I believe it was Just Mercy. No. No, last one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, first one off the first cab off the rank, if yes. you want to get down there. All right. Just Mercy. Oh, you know it's Oscar bait season when Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan team up for a civil rights film about, about black injustice. Unfortunately, this netted a combined zero Golden Globe and Oscar nods. So I'm not sure how to feel about this one. But it still looks really fucking good. Regardless of awards. Yes. As I say, yes. I don't give a fuck about any of that stuff. I know. I'm the opposite. I love them. Yeah. No, yeah. that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I love it when a, when a celebrity gets up on stage and they say some dumb shit. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. People go on about Ricky Gervais and how like, oh, he, he says all the things that he can't say. Like, of course he can. He did. He clearly is allowed to. Yeah. Simple as it's that. It's just I'm sorry, a bit more. Five years in a row. Oh, my God. He's yeah. so cool. Oh my yeah. God. I mean, yeah, you got yeah. to understand that the gimmick. That I mean, get- don't get me wrong. He's saying hilarious things that are actually taking digs. Yeah. But clearly it's been pre-approved. Yes, absolutely. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. So get over that facade. But yeah. I do like it when he says things that are like real hard hitting and like, yeah. like, holy shit, he's fucking said that. Yeah. You know? Seriously, I recommend YouTube. Him and Mel Gibson. Oh, Is yes. That back and forth. Oh, man. That was. Yeah. That was All right. So, what was one of the jokes? Yeah. Like, oh, that, every time I see Ricky, I got, reminds me I got to get a colonoscopy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Anyway, but Just Mercy. Just we Mercy. talked about this in Trailer Park. Yeah, you... Trailer Park, I think uh, early December, late November. Wait, no. Mm. I'm thinking of a different film. I'm thinking of the one where they, they, be, they become bankers. No, that. Oh, that one was the oh, Apple exclusive one. The Samuel Apple Plus L. Jackson one. Yeah, yeah, and the, Michael oh. B. Jordan. Yeah, th- no, no, that wasn't Michael B. Jordan. That was Anthony Mackie. Oh, God. Yeah, that was Samuel L. Jackson, Anthony Mackie, and um, uh, uh, white guy, uh, warm bodies, uh, X Men. Uh, 
Ni- Nicholas Holt. Yes. Yes. yes I got there. White yeah. guy. Had to say white guy because it's a very black movie. Okay. But <laughs> yes, either is. way. I'm getting it confused. Yeah, I, I just I remember m- this one. So this yes. is where Michael B. Jordan plays a lawyer. And yes. he. Yes. I'm remember, remember, uh, remembering this, this, this correctly. This is the good version of Fall from Grace. Yes. So mm. Mark, so Jamie Foxx's character has yes. been uh, accused incorrectly of a crime accused of a crime. Because of his skin color. That's correct. And mm. obviously during that. Time and it's set in Alabama, of which course. Is like yeah, the down to so south Michael where the trailer B- park is. Yeah, mm. so Michael B. Jordan comes yes. in. He plays a lawyer of some sort who's mm. defending. Where in these situations, when those types of characters, like the character that Jamie Foxx is playing, I don't yeah. know his name, mm-hmm. uh, gets caught up in this, they think that that's the end of the line. Yes. regardless of whether they're innocent or not, yes. that's the end of the line. Yeah. They have no hope. But Be- Michael B. Jordan fights. For this guy. Exactly. And that's unheard of because like you just said, once they go to prison, it's like, was it that black guy? Yes, it was that black guy. All right. You're going End of to, story. You're going that's to right. Pri- life prison or you get executed. Like, Is this based mm, on a true story? Did we I don't discuss think so. this? No. Okay. No, I believe this is a completely just original story. I that's believe. right. And everybody's favorite mm. Avenger, Brie Larson, is also in this as well. Yeah, um, exactly. Like, there is one positive thing I have to say about her. She yeah. did host Jimmy Kimmel a little while ago. Hosted it. Hosted it. Guest wow. hosted it. Yep. Okay. As much as she For the is, whole show. Yep. As much as she is an idiot, she had this kind of top on which revealed everything. Oh. And it was fantastic to watch, <laughs> I must say. Is it on YouTube? Uh, yeah, the whole thing's on YouTube. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. No anyway. Yeah, you talk about this maybe while I watch some stuff. Yeah, okay. So, the premise- Wait, is- Larson or Olsen? <laughs> Brie Larson. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. If Never you mind. get Olsen, you're going to get a whole lot more. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, Just Mercy looks like a fantastic film. We'll look into that later. It's fantastic. You should yeah. really get into this. But I, also the movie. I can see. It yeah. Lovely. You should watch it when she's laughing. It's yeah, oh, fantastic. I can, I can yeah. She's got a very lovely smile. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And oh, she's very that's, well- That's wonderful. Uh, intelligent yeah. woman. But oh, um, my God, we are pigs. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But mm. enough about that movie. Oh, unless, okay. unless there's anything Wait, else you want to say. No, well, Yas Pass excited on oh, the actually, Of well, course, we have a rating system for this. I forget about that. Come on. Um, okay, yeah, so, so Just was, Mercy. I was a little bit now, distracted by my memory. <laughs> yeah, and I was a little bit distracted by my YouTube search. Yeah. Now, uh, this one, if we don't go and see Bombshell, yes. I'm okay to see this. Okay. Like, so I'm tossing up between the two. I know we're a week behind with Bombshell, but I still yeah. feel like that would be the better picture. But okay. this one has... The cast, the story, a bit more I feel gravity. Like it, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a bit more oomph yeah. about it. Whereas Bombshell, there'll be those moments where we can have a bit of a giggle and yeah. stuff, you know. But as we said earlier, so, you can compare this against stories like Fall from Grace. Yeah, and of course. I could put these two side by side and know which one I would clearly rather watch. Oh, big time! And it's not just because of the actors; it's yeah, because no. of the story. No, it, that's hundred you know? percent correct. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and just, I know that this isn't going to have a stupid fucking twist at the end where it turns out it's his mother and they've been doing it for decades and yeah. blah, blah blah blah. So blah. I'm going to give you yeah. just mercy a yard. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm not going to go out of my way to see this in comparison to one of the films on this list. Yes. I understand and, which one you're wanting. Yeah. Yep. And when you hear me talk about it, you'll know why. Okay. I'm that idiot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So I'll, I'll give it a yes as well, but okay. also for the reason I feel like there's something better. Yeah. If I, I feel like there's something better, but I might go and see it. Wouldn't this say better, for- but more. Oh, no, no, no. More no. owl. No, I'm genre. talking about Bombshell. I'm oh, still okay. talking about yeah, Bombshell, yeah. man. No, that's cool. yeah. yeah, no, but either way, Yas, I think it'll be really good. And yep. I'm just stoked that it's coming to Glendale. Yes, absolutely. Simple as that. Like, absolutely. that's awesome. All right, moving on to the next one. We have Laka Bowls. Mm. Get your clicking fingers ready, neck tweaks, and sassy mm-hmm's mm. ready because it's time for Tiffany Haddish, Rose Byrne, and Selma Hayek to team up together for this chick flick comedy. Guaranteed to come with all the sass. Okay, so like a Boss. Mm hmm. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard yeah. that this movie mm. is absolute trash. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, big time. Like yeah. the, the, uh, the even- concept is interesting because I remember mm. hearing about this film like it feels like three years ago. Yeah. So basically just to kind of like rough it off, t- r- like give you a rough synopsis of it. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish and Rose Byrne, they make they make makeup. They build an empire. Yeah. And they, then- well, not so much an empire, but they're very successful. At, yeah. They create their business. But then Selma Hyatt comes in. And tries to buy the company or steals like one of their products or something like that because she owns or is the CEO of an even bigger conglomerate of a yeah. business and basically like takes it all out from under them. And they're like, oh, we're going to fight for this. And ha ha ha. Here comes the comedies in the. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I heard that this is the I kind of movie. Turkey necks, not neck tweaks. <laughs> yeah. No, I just meant like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, oh, I've heard this is th- why you should watch this on YouTube. I've heard this film mm. even goes as far as to have really horrible fart diarrhea jokes. 
in it. Really? Yeah. Oh, Remember that on. scene in Bridesmaids? Oh. Fantastic film where they all yeah, did the Brazilian. But that I, scene? Yeah. Well, I mean, that scene is yeah. funny in its own right because the whole movie is ridiculous. It, yeah. Apparently, this yeah. film does have a scene similar to that. Really? In the vein of like... With the like, laxatives? I, I don't know about laxatives or whether there's diarrhea involved, but okay. there's definitely farts. But they're definitely not eating fiber. No. Mm. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh, uh, 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 nah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all I can think. Well, of. Like, I like the idea of two businesswomen creating a product and building an empire out of yeah. it and then fighting against the conglomerate against them. Yeah. I yeah. like that idea. And they mm. could turn that into something really special, especially with Tiffany Haddish and Rose Byrne, yes. both, uh, and Selma Hayek, all uh, good actors in, in, in the right films. Oh, 100%. 100%. But if they... If what I've been told, they turn this into a wacky comedy, uh, an outrageous yeah. comedy, I just don't think this film is going to work I see, in that set. No, that's right. And I, I see the reason for this film. Yeah. I see the purpose behind it. Yep. I see this in the same vein as... Now, I didn't mind the first one, but Bad Mums. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, like, I've seen the first one. But yeah, I see Bad it in that vein where it's clearly targeting the female demographic. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. And it's clearly trying to give them that... That, that comedic alternative to what's usually out there, which is more yeah. male-driven. So I understand the purpose behind this, and for those reasons, and from what the reviews say, the lovely full rating on IMDb, mm-hmm. uh, it's a it's a blah blighted. Yeah, it's a blah blighted. I mean, but I in all care. honesty, when this comes to a streaming service in 12 months or whatever, if it's on, I may just whack it on Check just it for some yeah. background noise, and maybe there is some funnies in there, you know? Yeah. But also, I'm just not a fan of Tiffany Haddish. I know. I was going to yeah, bring that I, up I'm because just, you're not. What about Rose yeah. Byrne, though? Because she's great. I love Rose Byrne because yeah. of what she's done as an actress. Yes. Not because of these roles. Like, I get why she takes these roles because, yeah. hey, paycheck, and it's probably fun, and she gets to hang out. Or bad neighbors. Well, actually, no. In no. America, neighbors. Exactly, but it's called bad neighbors, neighbors here. here. Is you it know called why? bad neighbors? Yeah. Do you yeah. know why it's called bad neighbors? Because neighbors. Neighbors. The TV show Neighbors. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. You don't want to confuse a Seth Rogen film with the soap opera that's been running since the fucking 80s. Yeah, like, that's right. No, exactly. But, she oh, was but great. for any uh, international listeners who don't understand that, there is a five days a week soap opera a la Bold and the Beautiful in America you know, that has been running for like 30, 40 in years. in England. No, the I world, know. It's bigger the world there. And so is Home it. and Away. Neighbors yeah. is be- like bigger than Home and Away over there. But yeah. No, but I'm talking about America. I don't oh, think yeah. they get neighbors, but don't worry about it. It's it's no good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's that it's that five thirty p.m. or six p.m. Yeah. weekday slot. Yeah. You watch it right after the news. No, you t- change the channel right after the news. Oh, well, because the news is better. Well, yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, people who yeah. watch the news watch that show. That exactly. That tells you all you need to know about that yeah, kind of pretty concept much. and that uh, demographic. Pretty, pretty anyway. much. But yeah, but because of that, Neighbours became Bad Neighbours for us. And yeah, yeah and Rose Byrne is, is great in that yeah, show. Ro- Rose Byrne is fantastic in, yes. in almost everything. And I'm sure she's great in this. It's just yep. not my cup of tea. Blah, blah, exactly. blah. All right, moving on to the third and final one for this week and the one yes. that you're clearly very excited for. I am. And again, just to recap again, I love the trailer park. Like three months ago, this came up and now it's yep. finally here. You know, yeah. this is why we do this. Underwater. K. Stu is stuck inside of a metal box that's in water. I mean, can we just be honest here? If you're submerged in water, you're in water, not under water. I mean, I know we've been saying underwater for assumed centuries, but come on, they're in water. Either way, doesn't look too bad. And they are, you know, there's an argument that's been going around the internet uh, for the past f- number of years is that. Mm. When you're in water, <laughs> you're I can't believe this wet. is actually could, yeah. like brought up. They say topic. water isn't wet. Yes, but wh- where do you stand on that? Do you think water is wet? If you're fully submerged in water, are you wet or are you not wet? Well, once you get out of the water and you're in the atmosphere, you're wet. But when you're in the water, are you wet? Well, I is mean, water by, wet itself? By that same vein, I mean, can you pour water you, onto you, more water and make that wet? Make that water more wet? Oh. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. Um, oh, soon I will be. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Oh, the segue. Yes. But either way, um, yeah, that's me just poking a bit of fun. I can't remember exactly what this film is about. They're in a submarine. <laughs> is it just the fact that they're trapped and it's like sinking? Or is there a monster? I feel like there was a monster, right? Alien and it's vibes. Oh, this is alien. That's alien right. Alien yeah. Pandorum. This has got that out of space claustrophobic oh, sci-fi right. yeah. sort of I, vibe to it. I can it see where. the screenshots of it now and it yeah. really does have an alien And when vibe. you say Kirsten K. Stew, you mean yeah. Kirsten Stewart, yes, who course, is good. Yes, she's fine. She's getting better. Yeah. I just saw a trailer today on the TV for that Jane movie. 
the oh, one yeah. where she plays that actress in like the 50s, 60s and stands up for civil rights and the yep. FBI is like tapping her phones and stuff. And she looks awesome. Yeah. She looks great. Yeah. She mm. was good in Charlie's Angels. Fuck what everybody says about that movie. I enjoyed it. She was great in that still a shit film. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, um, I'll read you the IMDb yes. synopsis just to give people a quick brew instead of talking about water. Yep. A crew of aquatic researchers work to get um, to safety after an earthquake devastates their subterranean laboratory subterranean laboratory my apologies <laughs> Good work. but the crew has more than the ocean seabed to fear okay yes. so they they're not in a submarine they're under they're in a facility they're, of some they're sort. in water yes yes <laughs> at the bottom of the ocean in a built lab and then there's an earthquake and it apparently awakens something yes the so only very th- sinister the only thing i'm not really looking oh, for tj to- miller i was about to say yeah. that the only thing Sorry. that I, I i don't know about tj miller like Every time I see him as credited role, I go, ugh. But then I watch him and I'm like, exactly. he's fine. He's no, good. He's okay. He, but I'm, I assume he's going to be playing that cliche, this is the thriller monster movie. And then there's that comedic relief that but dies he, off. But he may not be. <laughs> no, exactly. That's if what I mean. Him, like, if this is him doing the case, Stu, and dabbling in that darker, yeah. more serious role, fuck yeah. I kind of hope bro. this film doesn't that. have that comedic out of place element because a lot of the, yeah. a lot of these movies or uh, have you seen the movie Life with Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds? No, no, that's a great no. film, yeah, but that is yeah. very much Alien uh, in its own right. <laughs> okay, um, but it yeah. is good. It is yeah, a great yeah, yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Ryan Reynolds plays Ryan Reynolds on gas. You know, he's just okay. Uh, yeah, he plays a good and emotional role where he's like, I miss my fucking dog, dude. You know? But after seeing Buried, Ryan Reynolds is an actor. Yes. I don't care. He can bring out 42 Deadpools. Yeah. I still know that dude when he's put in a spot can yes. act. Absolutely. But what I'm getting yeah, to sorry. is that he plays that, like he's the the forefront of the poster, but he yeah, dies yeah. fairly quickly in it. Spoiler alert. Oh. Very emotional death. Yeah. Quite good. Yeah. Heroic. But mm. he the, the moments where he gets to be funny, mm. it's just like, like tone it down a bit, dude. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, I hope this film takes itself seriously enough enough. Just yeah. like Alien, where it's still a fun mm. movie, but nobody's yeah. laughing. Yeah. Okay. You know, like yeah. they may have a few sort of personal jokes here and there, but nothing to be like, haha, audience laugh. You know, yeah, it's like, exactly. haha, you and me laugh, like yeah. ad lib on set. Yes. You yes, know, yeah, so, yeah. and Kirsten Stewart's great. I think, like, this film itself is going for that Pandorum alien sort mm-hmm. of vibe where there's something on the outside and they have to survive yeah. the, the claustrophobic thriller mm-hmm. horror elements of it. Yeah. And that's why it's my pick of the list this okay. week yep, because I love those kind of movies. Yep. I understand that. So I'm excited for this. Yeah, no. Um, honestly, I feel like I've resold myself on this. Like okay. I want to see it, but if this is um, uh, our review this week. Based on Cthulhu Mythos by H.P. Lovecraft. What? So inspired. Sold, 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 sold. Yeah, sold. But don't let yes. that oversell it for you. No, but still, either yeah. way, I'm, yeah, no, I'm happy for this to be a review this week. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, is that what we're going to do? I'm ha- if I can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't we'll do it to me again. Don't make me sit through another Tyler <laughs> not, Perry production directed, it, written by Tyler Perry, starring Tyler Perry. It's not pay week, so we'll see. Oh, anyway. Shit. Uh, yeah, so do this you have any a- um, Cinebell's points? Uh, yes, I do. Ah, but I'll have to check out how many uh, I've okay, got. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yes. So, other way, water. Excited. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, excited for this. Yeah, yeah honestly, I love my I, science fiction horrors. I think I'll, I might go and see Bombshell just on my lonesome. Do it. And, and I'm get, happy for you to tell me all about it. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. just really want to see Fat John Lithgow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but absolutely. Yeah, so those are the f- um, films coming to theatres this weekend. And uh, thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. That has been Yas or Basel Trailer Park. And that has been our show. Mm. Thank you, everybody, much for listening now. Thank you, everybody, much. I love that. Did that Your words are amazing. Wow. You serenade me every it's week. that time of the week. Anyway, <laughs> you can find 2C3 Pod, 2's Company, 3's <laughs> that Podcast. That bra- brand charge and rail ain't yeah, too bad now. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can find 2's <laughs> Company, 3's a Podcast on social media, on Facebook, mm. Instagram, and Twitter. Just type in two, at 2C3 Pod. That's right. And if you're listening to or watching us, make sure it's on your preferred platform. Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Big summer, summer blowout. blowout. Sorry, yeah, I sorry. thought you were going to delay that a little uh, bit. No, I don't know why I slowed down. But anyway, mm. you can support the show if you <laughs> yes. feel like it. If it's necessary, you certainly mm. should. Head over to tpublic.com. You can get yourself a t-shirt, a mug, a sticker, and a fridge magnet, all at a very mm. low price of whatever they are at the time. Um, every dollar goes to support the show, of course. But if you do want to support us a little extra... That's right. You can head on over to PayPal and 
Two's Company Threes a podcast at gmail.com. Dot com. And 10 cents, 20 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, or anything that you say, hey, good job. I giggled a little bit or something like that and throw it yeah. towards us. We would appreciate it greatly. And if you want your name read out on the show, we will do that. And you can become a producer for the week. Absolutely. If you mm. want to be considered a sponsor, producer, whatever, dr- yes. chuck in a buck or a, or less on yeah, PayPal, gmail.com. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, we do have two podcasts mm. every Wednesday and every Friday. Mm-hmm. Wait, we have two podcasts every week, one Friday <laughs> and one Wednesday. We do not have four podcasts every week. Absolutely <laughs> not. Anyway, no. Wednesday is all mm. about the news and movie reviews and Fridays, just like today, is all the Yarson Pass and Trailer Park gearing up for the weekend. Yes, a bit more laid back, but don't forget to head on over to YouTube, hit that subscribe yes. button, ring that bell because we have four videos every week. At the moment, we're going through the studio change and scheduling and school holidays. For so three personally. videos until we can get <laughs> yeah, back so, on track. Yeah, exactly. But we will be back on track once the once everything settles down. So yep. ring that bell or get those notifications and thank you very much. Absolutely. Mm. Thank you everybody for tuning in. This is Two's Company, Three's a podcast. We will see you next Wednesday. My name is Dylan as always with my co-host Mitchell and do not forget Get that we are two's company, but you, you are, are the, the podcast. podcast. All right, let's do it. All right, hold on. You didn't get the last one, did you? So I'll no, I've already done that. Oh, you haven't I? Yep, yep, two or four. Cool. All right, I'm not prepared. Oh <laughs> man. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, this is one that if you got, I'd be like, "Well done." If you don't get, I'd be like, "I understand why." Okay, okay. All right, this is a really good one for you. Yep. And we discussed it just not that long ago. Okay. In the 1986 science fiction horror film Aliens. Okay. How many years was Ripley adrift in space for? Oh fuck! Wait. Fifty-seven. Oh. 67 or 81 years? 67. <gasps> 57! Yes, oh! you dumbass! Yes! Oh! Oh, yes, we stay Gosh. level. Nobody's going to take the lead at the you end know, of the week. In my head, mm. I thought it was... I didn't oh. know it was going to be multiple choice. So I was instantly thinking 50. I remember he said five something. Oh, And, and then, then he said you, that. I was like, oh, maybe uh, it is 67. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. That's Damn right. It. Hey, if you're still here, we do this at the end of every episode and we'll be all year. Absolutely. Mm. Hey, thanks for checking out that video of Two's Company 3's a podcast. We really appreciate it. Wasn't it really something? Why don't you drop a comment down below while you're still here on what you thought about that video. And once you're done, go check out the next video. Feel free to hit subscribe as well. I think it'll be a really good investment for your future.